So before we continue creating the beams, I want to do a bit of housekeeping. I will press Control B to maximize the node graph. And first of all, I want to check a few things. The groups, for example, I have a few groups that I won't be using. Of course, the columns, the walls, the slabs, I will need. But here we have an extrude back, kill, slab sides. All of these groups I won't be needing. So let's try to find where these are coming from and remove them. So we already know, because we just checked our walls, that we have uh, an extrude back and a kill group that we won't need. So let's start here. Let's add a group delete node. And we will delete extrude back and kill. Let's check the columns. The columns are fine. And those labs. Those labs also ha have a slab side group that we won't be needing. So let's add another group delete node. And here we will delete slab sides. And I will also color the nodes that are being channel reference. The color is also being channeled reference. And the group node I will change to this tan color as well. And I think that's all we need for now. So let's continue with the beams geometry. The beams can also be created based on the exterior edges. So we can reuse part of this tree. So I will make some room here. And we can use up to this point where we had our line separated and scaled down. And we will also use an extrude node. But this time we will need a separate parameter for the beams. Maybe the walls will be thicker or thinner. So we'll go back to our user interface and add a folder for the beams. I'm going to move it upward. Change the folder type to simple. And we can copy all the parameters that we use for the walls. Just make sure to rename the channel name to beam thickness. Forgot to rename the folder beams. So we'll copy also the height parameter, rename the channel to beam height duplicate the group and the color as well make sure to change the channel names and click on accept So here we have the parameter for the beams now. I forgot to change the default for the groups. So we'll select the group parameter 
go to channels and change it to beans I will probably change the default color for the beams as well to white and now we're ready to extrude so this first extrusion will be the actual height of the beam so let's channel reference the height into the extrusion distance and make sure we're extru extruding through the point normal and an existing normal just as we did with the walls and here we're going through the pretty much the same process the only difference is that we need to move the beams upward so I want the beams to touch the bottom part of the slabs and make sure they're also touching the the top face of the of the beams of the column sorry so let's add a transform and the amount of translation that we're going to need will be the same as the uh, story height minus the slab thickness minus the beam height so let's go through that together i'm going to channel reference the story height and first of all paste it here on translate y so again it's overshooting because we're adding the height of the wall so let's reduce this amount the beam height by subtracting it to the actual value so i'm going to paste relative reference and now we need to subtract the slab thickness so copy the value and subtract it here so here's an interesting tip you can click on a channel and alt e on your keyboard to maximize the window to edit the script so sometimes it gets a bit unpractical here so here we have much more space so we can type minus and paste relative oh actually we cannot paste here sorry we're going to have to do it here directly i don't know why you can't paste uh, on the window on the script window so paste relative reference and enter so there we have it now the beams are exactly below the slabs so let's display the slabs let's merge the beams to the geometry and there we have it so let's continue with the extrusions we're going to poly extrude for the first time have the width of the beam divide this value by two as we did with the walls just remember we need to generate a back face and create a back face group to extrude again so this time we will only extrude the back face and the amount will be the same as last time 
half the thickness of the beam. So by now you should know how to, to do this. And we will need to add a group. Channel reference the group name. We will also add a color. Channel reference the color value as well. And finally create some normals. There we go. So let's display the entire geometry, what we have so far. What's left to do is to copy this geometry several times upward to, to generate the entire building. That should be pretty straightforward. But before we proceed, let us check that everything is working on our interface. So we know that the columns are working. We already tested that. The walls, we also tested. But the beams we haven't tested. So let's check if the beams are working fine. Let's change the height and the thickness. So that's, that's fine. Let's change the color. And we could also try changing the name of the group. And we could verify that here. So here it is. Everything is working as expected. 